Hey there, everybody. I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope for the week of March the 4th. Okay, let's get started. The week commences with Mercury, which is a communication planet, in a favorable interaction with Uranus. However, you will want to get ready so and organize so you can act quickly because anything that happens with Uranus and wherever Uranus is involved, things can literally just come out of the blue, blind, blind soul you, blind side you. Uh, and so a conversation right now can move a project forward, but quickly. Okay, so you want to get ready, particularly if you're really interested in moving something to the next stage. All right, so later in the week, Mercury will be in opposition to Neptune. Um, and Neptune is the planet of inspiration. So, you know, even though an opposition can be a little tricky, it's a trigger point, okay? So it gets things moving. And this is certainly a good week to investigate new ideas and concepts, um, concepts that have the power to really get you excited. And when you're excited and inspired about something, then this is when a great deal of positive energy can just push it forward. So we like that. At the same time, the Sun and Uranus will favorably interact. And this added energy with the Sun can literally can make anything possible, okay? So just be open to what comes next. All you need to do is just believe in yourself and your ideas and just make a plan, make a plan to move forward. Even if you have to change that plan, you've got like a starting point, okay? Um and, you know, once you do that, then you can just take it one step at a time because also Mars will also interact with Uranus. And this is a little more challenging aspect and does bring within a message to look at the details, okay? So even though you want to get ready so you can act quickly, don't act so quickly that you overlook something. So, you know, make sure that you look at all the details, read the fine print, all of, all of that. OK, and, you know, in that case, you know, you want to make sure that everything is in place and nothing falls through the cracks. All right. Now, the week will conclude with the new moon in Pisces, which helps to heighten your intuition. And also it's a message just to pay attention to your inner wisdom. OK, how you feel about people, things, situations happening around you right now. What does that feel like for you? What does your intuition tell you? Get used to noticing what the, your intuition feels like so you can recognize it. OK. And a mooning Pisces is a good time to do that. Um, and at the same time, Mercury will make his way from Pisces to Aries. Aries is more about action, getting things done. Um, so this is a perfect time, perfect way to finish the week by making some action plans. Make a plan, okay? Um, just feel confident about moving forward and stepping into the life that you dream about, the life you know you deserve and you want, okay? All right, so let's go through the signs and see what's uh, happening with each of the signs. So starting with Aries, of course, right? Venus is in your area of relationships. This makes it a very pleasant time for socializing Aries, so don't spend all your time working. Just be open to meeting someone new, like a lover or a friend, um, because it's going to fall in uh, a different area, of course, in your personal birth chart. Uh, but, you know, right now a development and a discussion about your career can just provide a heightened realisation that, you know, motives, motivates you to just move forward. You get more information, okay? Now, Taurus, at work, when you discuss business matters, make sure you talk to the decision maker, all right? So, I mean, if you want to get someone's opinion, right, or, you know, maybe just do a rehearsal of presenting, but to get anything really done, signed, sealed, delivered, you want to talk to the right people. Uh, you know, friends can have good advice, but if life decisions are yours to make in the end, if they're important, then you need to take control. Um, 
on the love scene, a passionate romantic connection can unveil your sensitive side right now. So that's nice. Uh, just take it one day at a time. See what unfolds, okay? Gemini, <clears throat> you can have a passionate soul connection with someone who just pulls on your heartstrings, okay? So, you know, if you want a ring and not a fling, then don't move too fast if you want a commitment, all right? So just see how things unfold organically for you. Now, a new start at work influences your sign as well, so there's much excitement around you at the moment, so good luck with that. Cancer, if you want to change things at home or with a family member, Cancer, just take control, say what's on your mind, okay? Don't pussyfoot around, just like come right out with it, all right? Money matters are positive also, so especially with a partnership uh, or investments of some kind. And if you need more details about someone, well, you know what, just ask more questions, okay? You're allowed to do that and just get more information, right? Leo, when it concerns love, Leo, if it feels right, just enjoy the moment. Don't overthink it. Don't get too involved. Just sort of enjoy it. See where it goes. Just get, avoid getting caught up too much in planning your romantic future. You know, we're going to have two children. We're going to live here. We're going to have that. There's how many of that. You know, just enjoy it. See what happens, okay? You know, and also just be mindful to love someone for who they are, you know, just like the good, bad, the icky, uh, you know, the good and the ugly, as they say, not who you want them to be. Don't make the mistake of falling in love with someone's potential, okay? Now, at work, be decisive. You know, you are better than you think, mostly. So just be decisive and just keep on going. Just make it happen. You got this, right? Virgo, so Mars and Venus can put you in front of the right people right now. So don't let an opportunity for self-promotion to pass you by. It's not a time for you to sit in silence in the, you know, back stall so be bold act with certainty and if you can do that you know even if it's out of your comfort zone just step on forward and do it and if you can do that then there's a good chance that your career can really skyrocket right now anything is possible okay um, with love just embrace love go with the flow um, think long term sure but enjoy the moment okay Libra, all right, so your health and beauty are right on top, right on top, priority, top focus right now. So you don't want to let either slip to the bottom of the list. Um, you know, Venus shines her love in your direction. Venus is your ruler. So, you know, whenever Venus is shining love on you, you want to look your most ravishing self, okay? And uh, a discussion at work can open up new options for you to consider, okay? But they're for you to consider. Just because someone offers you something doesn't mean to say it's going to be great for you and doesn't mean to say you have to say yes, okay? So consider it. What? How? How is it going to fit into your life? Is it going to be financially good? You know, consider all your options like we know you can. All right, so Scorpio, Mercury moves to your area of health and beauty. And it makes a perfect time just to gather some information um, and just do some well-deserved beautifying. Like what's the latest on the market, you know? Like there's so many great sort of applications now, you know, take advantage of them, see what's going to work best for you, right? At work, you want to be productive. This is get organized. This is what's going to be part of your key to just get things done. Uh, write a daily to-do list and stick to it, okay? Um, create a system. You know, as I've said many times, I work with the Evernote system. I love it. It's like a sophisticated daily to-do list with checkboxes and color coding and, you know, the the lot not for everyone but it's really good just get a system okay um and when it's about love whatever you say or do right now just do it with a whole heap of sincerity okay just mean it you know like i love you mean it you know just whatever it is 
straight shooter, okay? Sagittarius, trust your intuition. If your energy come to you quickly, right? So pay attention. Teamwork and communication. They're the keys to your success at work right now, okay? But it's up to you to take control. Don't leave everything to fate. Don't leave it to anyone else, okay? You take control of your own life. And, you know, with love, a discussion can spark the love fires now. And as such, get ready. Your heart can just skip a beat, okay? When that happens, then you know it's good. All right, so Capricorn, your bank balance gets a boost now. Yay! <laughs> Think big, all right? Don't limit yourself by your own thoughts. You Don't let your own limitations get in the way of your success. You like can do. You can be quantum jumping right now, Capricorn, all right? So a project that has the potential to be a great money spin can get the green light. Just be creative with it. Narrow your focus. Don't try to do everything. Narrow it down. What is the most important thing for you today? Is it, is it crucial? Is it important? Or is it on the low, low priority list? Okay, sort that out. Um, so, you know, it really is time for you to just step into your awesomeness, all right? And for love, just work on yourself. Don't get too concerned about love, you know, whether you've got, haven't got it, what's happening, um, where you're going. Just work on yourself for now. Aquarius, Venus expands your popularity. Well, that's nice, Aquarius, right? Love is in the stars and what happens next can be the start, the very start of all your dreams coming true. We love that. I hope that happens for you. Just be optimistic. Trust your instincts. They won't let you down. Uh, with money, money matters are looking positive, but do try to avoid impulse spending. We love that, don't we? Yeah, we all we all love that. All the signs love that to some degree, some more than others, right? So be a little careful about that. Pisces, so an opportunity can bring you a new beginning. It can literally take you by surprise now, Pisces, too. So just when you think you've got everything organized, you know what you do, something comes up and you go, wow, now that sounds like a great idea, all right? So pay attention to it. See if it is actually a great idea. And when it's about love, just notice how you feel about someone, okay? Um, and this is how you'll know if it's a soul connection. Does it feel right? Does it feel good? I mean, is it not perfect, but you still love them anyway? You know, are you willing to make some compromises? These are all things that tell you whether it's a soul connection or not. And, you know, with bank, with money and uh, creative projects, I stand by for news because news of a creative project can come through now and one that can literally boost your bank balance. So, yay, let's hope so. I wish that for you. All right, thanks so much. We'll see you again next week. Bye for now.